Hello, this is Sergey from Propersoft and today we're gonna review Quicken 2017 for PC. Uh, we're gonna try to convert CSV to QIF and then import QIF into banking account. We're gonna use CSV to QIF utility from Propersoft. You can visit propersoft.net slash CSV to QIF and download PC or Mac version at this page. When you open CSV to QIF, uh, for the first time, you will be asked to uh, get a trial license and your conversion within, uh, within trial license is limited to 10 transactions per file. To convert without limits, uh, please purchase for license, and but you can try before purchasing on the limited number of transactions, up to 10 transactions. And the, this video is sh shows how to convert small CSV file to QIF and import it into Quicken 2017 for PC. I'm gonna select sample CSV file. It has four transactions, three the expenses and one deposit. Uh, this is how the source file looks like. It has column names, date amount, payee, memo, check number, type, and category. Uh, and this is how the actual CSV file looks as a text file. And this is how the file, the transactions look like after parsing. What you can do here, you can change mapping on your CSV file, like you can reassign columns if you like. The converter tries to read your CSV file, tries to read your column names, and if it says date column, if it says amount, if it says payee, if it says memo, it will find those columns and assign them automatically. But you can change them, you can say this is gonna be payee, or this is gonna be memo, you can change all that and save as new mapping. Uh, important for credit cards. So sometimes credit card companies supply CSV files with reverse sign for amounts. So what this means, mm, it would be seen like this. So expenses are positive and payments to the account are negative. And for Quicken, for QIF file or QFX file or QuickBooks, uh, expenses has have to be negative and payments or deposits to the account have to be positive. So it has to look like this, that amount is negative for expenses and positive for deposits. I'm gonna click convert and here oh, another important moment here so target the QIF file comes in different and different uh, flavors so you have to select flavor of or, or like or account in software you're gonna import into in our case it's gonna be quicken 2017 for PC account type gonna be bank this is for checking account or savings account for credit card you have to select C card and this thing is important as well account name so you can name here like import or you can name here hmm, RBC bank you have to enter actual account name you have in Quicken how to get that account name so let's say you enter account name as uh, add account and you say this is going to be checking account and soon i want to enter my transactions manually 
so let's say a name account rbc band this is actual name exactly as it is i copied and statement balance so let's see that's fine so we have rbc band or if you already have accounts what you can do is do tools account list and this is account name and or you click edit and this is account name this is where you copy it from copy so let's go back to converter so this is the name we paste uh, these things are you change them unless you exactly know that you need to change them otherwise you can leave them as this for quicken these things as default especially dates dates has to be for quicken as uh, month slash two day two day two digits of day and then apostrophe and four digits of year if you select quicken 2017 or quicken 2015 or 14 or 7 any of those quickens this date format will be ignored be, it will be used like this but whatever you say here will be will not be used for this quick and qif targets so what else this check number this category is important that qif file can import categories so this advantage of qif file over web connect file qfx file i'm gonna click convert i'm gonna create qif file and then I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna import and quick and we're gonna select file file import qf file and then we're gonna click browse and then we're gonna select qf file that was just created and then important we have to select all account here and then we click import and we see that four items imported and we see our transactions at the bottom we can just accept them all and here they are bank checking account imported data so let's say we want to create credit card S credit card we're gonna give example here credit card or something like capital one more specific so again these expenses have to be negative and payments to the account have to be positive we don't change anything else click convert i'm gonna name as new file then i'm gonna come back to quicken and we're gonna select that sample one uh, again all accounts what is important you see i entered capital one and there is no capital one but capital one account does not exist at new account. so if you if you don't enter exact account name and you don't have this account in quicken you will get prompt from quicken this account does not exist but what you put on the qif file which is here quicken will use to either locate account in importer or ask you to import to create new account so we're gonna say yes and we have four transactions supported and here's our capital one all data imported and we just say accept all so it, it does import transactions for notice here so if i say QIA files not available for checking the savings, credit cards, and other brokerage. What you have to do, don't read this, ignore this, and as I, as you did as I did for two accounts, I didn't, I don't even notice this. And but it is important to select here all accounts. Thank you.